special meeting to order. Dear God, thank you for this community. Thank you for these city council members who are willing to serve the community of St. John. Thank you for reminding all of us of the importance of listening to others in the community and reaching to you in prayer to find the best way of governing and serving the community. Move in the hearts of all of us this tonight, govern with justice and peace to all men and women and children. Move with this council this evening to make decisions that will serve the people of St. John. In Jesus' name I pray. Additions to the agenda currently have two junk vehicles and Stafford County trash. Are there any other additions to the agenda? I've discussed donation of fireworks with this department. Are there any other additions to the agenda? I have one for fire department to add Lake Grader to the fire department. Lake Grader. After our uh, flood we had there at the house, I got uh, got our bill. Um, the previous month, August to September, I imagine the CONS is consumer charge. Yes. Um, it was, I mean, it was twenty two thirty two that month of August to September, and then uh, uh, this month was one hundred and forty five oh eight, and of course that shows a reflection of the amount of water that was in the basement and I was just going to ask council if I could uh, if I could get some help with that or, or what what can we do with that um, or if, I mean of the excess you know consumption or well, I can consume it but the uh, excess that's coming in the house I mean if I get some help with that or if if I could you know maybe have an additional month to move some of that apply that to next month's bill but Anyway, I just wanted to ask and see what what I could what we could come up with. So. Just a reminder for council: we had said that when he actually got the bill, they were to come back and we take a look at it at that time. Is there a specific dollar amount you're wanting? Well, I mean, the difference of the uh, the bill is one hundred twenty-two seventy-six. I mean, that's the difference. Um, See, I mean, this about uh, 14508 was what the current bill is, and like the previous amount of the bill was 2232. So, I mean, there's just the 12276 difference. What, what did we talk about when we discussed that? I can't remember. We'll wait for Davis's bill and, uh, and, their, and that, that, but we didn't tell them to, yeah, bring it when they got it. Water bill too. It took them I mean, close to an hour to get the water shut off because there was an issue, a known issue with in the camp. So you think there was a twice the amount of water going in your basement tank I mean that wouldn't have otherwise if they'd been able to shut it off right? Correct, yeah. About twice as much. Is what you're thinking? Yeah. So if we took that difference and divided that by two, would that be fair? I would. I would. I'd be inclined to that. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I mean, I'd be. I mean, it, it wasn't totally our problem. No, correct. That you got flooded. Correct. But it was. If we our did fault the one for seven six and divide that by two. I'd, I would be happy with that. Be okay. So we're talking sixty-six bucks or so. Yeah. That would be my motion or my suggestion. That's fine. That's fine by me. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. So, do you make a motion? Um, yeah, I think so. I'll make a motion to pay 
half the difference, which would be 122.76 is what the total is, so half of that. $62. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Consent agenda. Approve of minutes for the regular meeting of 10-20-2015. Approve appropriation ordinance 10-22-2015 in the amount of $59.94. Approve appropriation ordinance 11-02-2015 in the amount of $8,510.50. And approve appropriation ordinance 11-03-2015 in the amount of $74,473.25. Okay, with that, yeah. Yeah. Same 
some of those concerns that were brought up a couple weeks ago. So that that's in motion and moving forward and uh so we can get some numbers we'll put them together and see what we can do. So it looks like you did a really good job. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I had one question and I know you already dealt with it once today on the dirt roads. <laughs> um, it's an ongoing thing. Yeah but, it is. Um, and I know you handled everything perfectly fine today, but just something to look at and so so and, and I understand that and um, actually it was on our schedule to be done this week with last week's rain we had a little sewer issue that um, to me I felt like it was precedent so we took right. care of it today kind of making sure that that was all running and, and we'll be laying first thing tomorrow morning but I did talk um, to Richard over there yeah. today and I think we're all on an understanding that um, he, he can be feel more than free to call in here and put in a service request and you know, I'd like to look at these as service requests because that's what we are doing. Um, if, if we look at them as a complaint, I think they start to look negative. So I, I'd like to progress as this is a service request because that's what we're doing for them. So just let us know, and we'll get out there and do what we can as soon as we can. Is there something? Do you think there's something that can be done to that road in general with putting ditches in and stuff? Yeah, I'll have to look into it further. There's a couple other things that I've been kind of thinking about, and uh, we talked about Fifth Street a little bit, or I told you I had a couple ideas. Um, there's some different types of stabilization, adding some material. Um, I want to look into it, how it's going to deal with the sandier roads here. They're they're more sandy-based than, than a clay material. So give me a little time to, to get some ideas on there, and um, the idea is to put a crust on it and kind of firm pack it a little more to where it may not have to be bladed as often. So okay. we'll, we'll look into that. So the, the other thing to keep in mind on West Street with all the truck traffic is with grain hoppers and little boy trailers. I, I agree. That, that thing is almost dangerously high now as far as the crossing. Because, okay. yeah, I mean, you've got to come up and it drops off so fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the middle of your trailer just about clips now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and at one time, we, I know the county was more than willing to haul dirt in there to build that road up to it. If, if Bring it up a little bit. Yeah. So, I mean, Phil, Phil can, huh? all the trailer. I wish they were all paid. That'd be nice. That's <laughs> expensive. Yeah. So oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have anything else? No, no, that's all I have right now. Um, junk vehicles. Um, 
I talked to Adam a little bit, and I know that we part of the holdup when we had discussed junk vehicles earlier, and the reason nothing had ever been done is because the ordinance says that we have to impound them. And I don't know if the council is interested in it, but I do know that the county got out of the impound business, but they still have an impound lot, and I don't know if maybe when they got that cleaned out, if that would help us in taking care of our vehicle problem in town of renting or buying or maintaining the impound lot and using it to take care of some of these vehicles in town. Something for us to look at. I mean, I think it's worth talking to them and finding out. I thought to Phil and the county commissioner. Yeah, I mean, that's... I would, yeah. Because I know that was what the hold up at one time was, wasn't it, Adam? Is because yeah. we did not have an impound lot. It just kind of, you know, just when when you didn't have any place to go with the vehicles, it kind of took the teeth out of it because right, you can't really impound something right. if you can't put it on your lock and key. So I think the attorney said something about the legality was getting pretty expensive too. Like what didn't he say? He mentioned that something about that. Uh, yeah, I don't remember if you were talking about and, and the vehicles or the house. Well, I talked to John a little bit about it, and he, through email, and he said, you know, he said, I think you guys can go ahead and discuss it. He said, and then he he sent me all the, uh, the ordinance and everything, and he said it is, it does cost a little more to impound them, but if you want to clean it up and want to do something, Said you can take them to court all you want, but if they ain't gonna pay you, they ain't gonna pay you. And if they don't ever do anything, right. you're stuck uh, in the same yeah. spot. I, I agree. If you ain't got an impound yard, it ain't worth doing. Right. So I mean, I think it's something we ought to at least check into the commissioners or write them a letter or something, maybe. I can I can go to the commissioner meeting too if that. Would. That would be fine. Yeah. Yeah. That would so be good. I would think that'd be great. Right. Yeah. I'm we'll talk to Phil or you know whoever else you got to talk to. I know that right now the, the impound lot's full, but from what I understand, they're working on cleaning it out. So, that was the only thing I had on it. All right, the other addition to the agenda is Stafford County Trash. Um, I visited with Stafford. I've got their notes from several meetings where they have had dilemmas with them. They put guidelines on them, they put deadlines on them. They don't do nothing about it. Um, there's a little minute since it talks about them. Um, we're 30 days into our 90. Um, and there's nothing being done. And from its track record, nothing's going to get I would like to move this deal up and, and try and look for something by the end of the next month or by the end of this month. Legally, I don't know if we can do that without John here to check on because we gave him a set amount of time to deal with it. So that will okay. be, yeah, we'll be some, I'll check with John on it and see. I, I, think, I think we need to get a... Uh, uh, some kind of update as to any of the if any of the repairs that we have asked for have been done. We need to know if it's been completed. Okay. Well, I think it needs to be you uh, know not him signing off on the deal. I agree. I've uh, been keeping an eye on three things that I know I'm not personally asking about. I know three of them have been done. And I'm kind of in agreement with Troy. But I don't think that we can cut the 90 days off, but I'm sure not opposed to look at other possibilities. My thing in about the next it, 60 days. my thing about it is, is when we decided this, we offered to give him 30 days and it wasn't enough. The, the 1st of December is going to be 60 days. If he hasn't got it done in 60 days and he couldn't do it in 30 days, what makes you think he's going to have to do it in the last 30 days? Right. Marshall, I, I'm not. I mean, I'm not arguing with you or anything like that. But I think where the motion was made, if we give him 90 days, I don't think we can go back and change it. But I'm not opposed to getting some stuff together. It may take 60 days to get something in place. I, I would. I guess my motion would be is to, to give a job, and if we. Can, <coughs> I mean, I don't know how that's set in concrete anyway. I don't need. I don't need. 
Um, it's, there's no contract signed, there's no nothing signed. But at any rate, I, I mean, my motion would be that if, if perfect, I mean, if John says it's fine, then at the end of this month, we can have somebody else to do it.
He doesn't call them. He doesn't go to explain so anything. So are they getting rid of I have no idea. I mean, what I tell you to be here saying is so not necessarily fit to be sitting here. But what they do is they're going to. But I'm just showing you, there's a track record there that goes back a lot longer than 90 days, guys. Well, and he's lied to us in here about stuff being done that ain't been done. And so, I mean, I'm watching three things. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, to me, that doesn't deserve our respect. If you're going to come in here and you're going to lie to us and you're not going to follow through on it, you don't lost your respect. No matter what John says, I'll, I think we need to have it on the agenda until the problem is solved or stuff's taken care of one way or the other every, every meeting. Oh, it needs to be discussed. Oh, and we need to. Yeah, because, I mean, every one of these, I mean, it's almost every council meeting, they got issues. How many complaints have we got this month? I don't know. Hey, I, know. I quit calling them in because it don't do no good unless the customer comes in and right. signs it. So. I've taken two this month. In November? Oh, no, I'm sorry. October. October. I called the Donna with my kids. So we've got well, that's what I mean. I was calling them in too, but one unless, they, they, unless they come in and sign it, it's... That's what I mean. I'm, I mean, we're talking eight to ten complaints a month. And that's what I'm saying. And, and we gave him every opportunity. I agree. And we tried doing the right thing. And he's, I mean, for lack of better words, he's thrown up our face. And, and I was trying to be good until we got lied to. And now I'm done with it. But I, I, I think we should pursue other options. Well, I, I agree. We need to pursue every option, another option, but I don't think we need to honor 90 days. What's everybody else's thoughts on I think we need to honor as many days, but I think we need to be Other, Our word's no good if you do that. Yeah. You know what? He, he's already lied to us. What? Well, Why do we want to sit here and I don't want to be like him. Our, and I agree with Sherry. Our, our word, our word is our word. Period. And it doesn't matter what anybody else does, or whether we strike an agreement with someone else. Our word is our word. We need to we need to hold on to it. But I'm in agreement with Bob that we need to start looking. Yeah, we need to have options just in case. Um, if if this doesn't pan out, if, you know, if nothing is taken care of, then we go ahead and we we start um, well, we asking for advance and stuff. Then we're gonna sit here and go. Well, we'll give him another 90 days to do that. No, I don't want to no. do that. I mean, and that's where no. we're headed, guys. No, but the whole thing, everything needs to be taken care of. That's, as far as I'm concerned, everything on that list that we handed in needs to be taken care of. Not half of it, all of it. That's all I'm saying. You know, we should honor our word. Well, I guarantee you, when he has me a paper, paper, if it's only his name saying it's been done, it ain't any better than a piece of paper true. Well, I'd like to see some. I'd like to see something else besides. If it's you know, a certified that. mechanic, and, and as far as that kind of stuff goes, and it's and it's a proven deal, then I'll, I'll own it. Well, then that, that's fine with me. I don't have a problem with that. But you know, if somebody comes in here and lies to us. I don't have any issue. Well, we will add it to the agenda for next time, and I will check with John on the ninety days and see, you know, where we're at from a legality standpoint on that. And do we want to completely go back out to bed again? Do we want to go, do we want to contact nicely and see if they're willing to honor their prices? I thought he sent something to LaDonna already. I think he has. A new deal that was actually lower than the previous bid, I think. I'm, I don't know about if it was lower. I, I thought it was the sure same, but it was higher. I, I don't care. I don't care. I know that he was in talking to LaDonna, but I don't know what the bid was. I guess he talked When I talked to him, he told me that uh, he, he would get to take care of it, no matter what the situation would be. He stated that as her neighbors would just get it done. No, I mean, it would be really nice to get some more stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. there's a lot of dumpsters and stuff like that. But I, I, I mean, I don't care whether you, you put it out for bids and, and find out their services and 
find out. I mean, to me, I guess that's where the boys are, so we ought to keep them. I think we ought to go ahead and start with that anyway. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I, I totally agree. I think we ought to just put it out for bid and have it there, and that way, if we need it, we've got it. Maybe we'll get surprised. I highly doubt it, but. I don't know. I think you need to call them, or I think you just have to call them. They don't say they can't really bid something that we don't actually. Yeah, that we don't know that we're actually going to have the service. Of you. But I would definitely be for calling and saying, hey, you know, we're looking at possibly needing yeah. a quote on this on what you're going to charge us. For. You know, and, and she should have a list, of, or the donor should, if we did the last time. Yeah, and we need to contact. There's a new company. There's yeah, a new company. Yeah, there's a new company. Yeah, there's a new company. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like I said, I think I'm going to find out what their chances. You know, if they miss somebody, if they'll come back out and do it, or if it's got to wait a week. I mean, I think we need to find that out. So. Now, the other question I have is: there has been some conversation about bringing it in house. Is that something that we still want to consider? I think we just need to get the trash service taken care of right now and worry about that after it's taken care of. The reason I'm asking is because we need to make sure then that we don't tie ourselves into another I, five years. I think year it's a year-long year contract. Year I think only a year. Yeah. Okay. No matter, uh, that was the personally, reason I was no matter, personally, if we don't ever go in-house, I think it's only a year contract, well, so we're not bound to this stuff again. Right. That's what we should get the quotes for then, for a year. A year-long yes. contract, yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's. I don't think we need to do that five, three to five years stuff anymore. I don't want to see any more five years. I agree, hundred percent. There's, we're living in a changing world. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to adjourn, and I guess if we're done. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Motion to adjourn carried. Five zero.